ice fishing season has already begun in the some places, but today there was a parade celebrating fish houses and, ice, and the ice sport. Our Anthony Scott has more. You don't expect to have a parade in November. <laughs> Well, expect the unexpected, because today was the annual Fish House Parade in Aiken, a tradition that has been going on since 1991. Oh, this is definitely my first. No, there's no ice fishing where I'm from, so this is awesome. It's totally fun. Love the enthusiasm, great costumes. Just everyone's really into it. It's just a good, nice town bonding experience. It's really fun time and something to do the day after Thanksgiving instead of sitting around the house. Although the start of ice fishing season depends on the lake, People were showcasing their creative fish houses in preparation for the season. People were competing for the titles of Most Hilarious and the Fan Favorite Ice House, and the crowd really enjoyed this year's designs. Of course the fish houses, and people get into it. Um, it's funny, you know, it's humorous, and they bring the excitement and entertainment. But not everyone was there for the fish houses. Seeing Santa Claus. Santa Claus? I'm having candy. In November, you never know what the Minnesota weather will bring, but I think everyone was thankful for 40 degree temperatures on parade day. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. It was windy and snowy and cold, so we were happy with the weather. The weather was great. I mean, they said it was going to rain. It held off. Um, you know, it was just great for the crowd. Um, we've had them where it's uh, five or ten degrees, and <laughs> you know, we're in costumes like everybody. We're, we're hoping we're dressed warm enough, but boy, we have fun. We just have a blast. With so many extra people in town for the holidays, the city of Aiken did a great job capitalizing on the extra foot traffic as business was booming all throughout Aiken for the Fish House Parade. I think the businesses make a point to be open and have you know good deals and draw people in. So I think it brings in a lot of revenue for businesses around here. Some people come from afar. Um, they don't know what Aiken has to offer until they actually drive up, you know, see us having fun and then actually walk Main Street and stuff. You know, we're still a vibrant Main Street that has, you know, businesses that are open. Soon enough, the fish houses will leave the street and find a spot on the lake for the winter. Reporting from Aiken, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Before the parade, there was a 5K, a snowmobile display, and a visit from Mr. and Mrs. Claus. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.